It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Is the wish of money and then? Guess I should turn off my Christmas music. Hi everybody! Today I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to tell my coming out story. I've been out for three years now. It's not something that I'm ashamed of. It's a story that I love telling. I love sharing um, my coming out story. But I just really wanted to put this on my channel um, because it's a part of who I am. As much as I love makeup and beauty and Christmas, I also love being gay and I really want to share that with all of you. I came out of the closet in my sophomore year of high school. It was October. It was two weeks before coming out day. Um, I came out as bisexual and a couple of weeks later made the uh, full jump to being a lesbian. I remember the night that I realized that I was gay. For me, it wasn't something that I've been struggling with my whole life. I wasn't, you know, a really young kid thinking, why don't I like boys? I don't ever really remember, like, really liking boys. Um, and there are definitely instances, if I look back at my childhood, look back at memories, I'm like, that was really gay of me. But I never really struggled with why am I feeling this way? Because my parents never taught me that it was something to be ashamed of. And the night that I came out, I was watching Rose and Rosie videos on YouTube, and I just discovered their channel. Still big fans, but I just discovered their channel, and I remember thinking, I want that. The way they looked at each other just made me want that. And it was really the first time in my life that I realized I wasn't going to get that relationship, that kind of relationship with a dude. I realized that the only way I really was going to be happy and the only way I could picture my future was with another girl. It did kind of freak me out, but more than anything it just felt right knowing that this was the missing link. I texted my best friend Haley that night, that very night, and I came out as bisexual. I just remember thinking, I just remember telling her, hey, this is kind of a big deal. I think I'm bisexual. Cool. Bye. And she was so supportive. She was awesome. And within the next two weeks, I came out to everybody that I cared about coming out to. My Coming out story to my mom is actually really, really funny. We had just gotten back from a concert. Um, my dad was still out, and my mom and I got McDonald's. It was like midnight on a school night. We were sitting on our kitchen table eating McDonald's, and I remember thinking, it's now or never. My hands were shaking. I was eating a Big Mac. I was so scared when I knew that I had no right to be. You know, I had no reason to be. I told her that I was bisexual, and immediately she said, you know it doesn't change anything. And that was all I needed to hear. It was the perfect response, it was her reassuring me that just because I had discovered this about myself didn't mean that she was going to love me any differently. When I told my dad, he was just like, well, with me and your mama's parents, it was about time. And a few weeks later, I sort of made the jump to lesbianism, as a lot of queer people do. They start out as bisexual and then make the jump to full homosexuality. And I was really happy. I was a lesbian for like a year. It was awesome. I became co-president of my school's Gay Straight Alliance, our equality club, and me and my best friend ran the club and we had so much fun and it was so awesome. And I was really, really happy. I was happier than I'd been in a really long time. Something weird happened, and in my junior year of high school, I totally fell in love with a dude. It was horrible. It was like out of a freaking movie, out of one of those horrible, stupid high school movies where awkward young girl falls in love with a dude, and he's like the cool, charming, popular, oh my god, it was the worst. It was the absolute worst, and totally fell in love with him or whatever love was for me at that point. I was like 16. 
and uh, it was it was hard because I was a lesbian. I was supposed to be a lesbian. I didn't understand how I could be so happy as a lesbian and then all of a sudden I wasn't anymore and I knew that the easiest thing, the easiest most logical solution to this problem was that I must be bisexual. But I didn't want to accept that because that meant that my entire year of being a lesbian was just a phase and that terrified me. I didn't want to have to tell people I'm bisexual and then they'd say, well I thought you were gay. But I knew that that's what I was. I was bisexual. I told my debate coach, I know it's weird, he was the first person I told, I told my debate coach and he looked at me and he was like, you need to start practicing what you've been preaching. And I realized that I'd been telling my equality club at school this entire year that sexuality is fluid. They don't have to put themselves in a box. They're oh, they're allowed to change their sexuality as they see fit. They're allowed to alter it to whatever they want. And I wasn't doing that for myself. Lo and behold, came out as bisexual. And that made the third time that I came out of the closet because I'm a very dramatic person and I couldn't just leave it be. You know, I couldn't just be like, well, I'll just, if people want to know, then I'll tell them. I couldn't do that, no. I made a big deal about it, came out as bisexual. Coming out as bisexual the second time was 100 times more stressful than coming out as a lesbian or coming out the very first time. I was really afraid that my gay friends wouldn't like me anymore because I wasn't all the way gay. It was a seriously irrational fear. I should have had a lot more faith in my friends. They have stuck by me through much worse things. But I was really scared. I was really scared that my straight friends would be like, wait a second, so it was a phase. And that my gay friends would kick me out. That I would lose my gay card. And in the end, neither of those things happened. My lesbianism in my junior year of high school was a phase, but not in a negative way. It was a phase of my life, and I was completely happy with it. I wouldn't change a thing about it, but I think it was important for me to realize that I'm allowed to have phases in my sexuality, that it is fluid, and I'm allowed to change it as I see fit. I'm allowed to go through new experiences, fall in love with new people, and change accordingly. I'm in college. I'm a lesbian again. Um, <laughs> I will probably be going back and forth for a very long time, if not the rest of my life. But I've decided that I don't need to label myself anymore. I didn't come out as a lesbian again for the second time, my fourth coming out. Um, didn't feel the need to do that. I think I'm finally grown up enough and mature enough to realize that my sexuality is my sexuality. It doesn't matter what anyone else wants to call me. It doesn't matter what kind of label someone feels like they need to put on me. Because I don't belong in a box. I belong out in the world. I belong being happy. And that's what I am. I've never been happier or more content or more at peace with my sexuality than I am right now. I am demisexual, a lesbian, and I feel really happy with that. So one thing that I do just want to say is it is hard. It can be the hardest thing that you will ever do is coming out of the closet. Even when you know your parents and your friends are going to be endlessly supportive, your hands are still gonna shake, your stomach will still be in knots, you still won't be able to make eye contact with them because it's scary. This is you voicing what you've always felt like inside. This is you finally putting a voice to that gnawing fear that you are different. It's natural to be different even when you don't want to be. And I think what I just want to drive home the most 
is that sexuality doesn't have to have a label. And you don't have to tell anybody if you don't want to. If you feel like you do want to come out and you do want to make a big deal about it, hell yeah. Buy your parents a gay, a, a gay, a gay cake. Oh my god. Have a huge reveal on what your sexuality is. If that's what you want to do, you have every right to do it. But at the same time, if you just want to keep it to yourself, fall in love with someone and date them, and then when people ask, be like, uh, I didn't know you were gay, and be like, you never asked. That's fine too. Everyone goes about it in a different way. And that's why I wanted to make this video today. Because I want you to know that you're not alone. As cheesy and cliche as it sounds, you're not alone. And one thing that my co-president and I, my best friend and I, liked to drive home in our meetings with our GSA back at home was that it doesn't just get better. We hate that saying, it gets better, because it doesn't just get better. You have to make it better. And if coming out is your way of making it better for yourself, if realizing that your sexuality is fluid and that you don't have to put yourself in a box is the way that you are going to make it better for you, then that's awesome. I realized I was going to make it better by prying my way out of the box. So yeah, that's that's the story and my advice to you. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. If you are ever struggling with any of this, even if you don't know me, that's the point of these videos, is to reach a larger audience. If you ever need help, if you ever need someone to talk to, tweet me, comment on these videos. I will be more than happy to do my best at guiding you through all of this. I'm not an expert, I don't have a degree in it or anything, but I went through it firsthand. And I know that my coming out experience was fairly positive. I didn't get a lot of pushback from my friends or my family. I am so, so lucky to have who I have in my life. And I know that a lot of people aren't as lucky, aren't as fortunate. If you ever need someone to talk to, please know that I'm always here, and I'm always, always willing. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We hit 100 subscribers last week, so that's kind of awesome. My first tiny little milestone. Um, I have only haven't been making these videos for very long, but I would love to continue making them. So please subscribe, please like and share this video with your friends, and I will see you next week for a less serious, probably Christmas-related video. Even though it's November. It doesn't matter. It's almost Christmas. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's almost Christmas. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!